I'm watching the Royal Rumble, and I hear the booyaka, and I was like, fucking Ray Ray. <laughs> and you could tell the audience did the same thing because there was like yeah. a second and a half of silence, and then it was like, no, is that Ray What? And then, you know, the explosion. <laughs> and then you come out looking like you're 14 again. Not to mention the fact that you're like in the best shape I've ever seen. But you that's what I'm saying. He comes yeah. out okay, 22. Thank he comes out looking like yeah. he's 22, <laughs> and 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 bumping it all over the place and doing all the same stuff and looking crisp and looking like all of these things again with a new style outfit. So switching it up and everything. And I told Jay, yeah. you know, how many guys do you think were lining up to feed Ray's comeback? As he came in that ring, <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy because they, they they try to keep it a secret, and I'm sure only the people that that had to know knew about it. Uh, but it came down to a point where uh, her, Hurricane and myself were in a bus. Next thing you know, uh, we were told that uh, that we were okay to walk in there and uh, you know put whatever we need to put together. You know, so we walk in there probably maybe a good hour before the, the actual show started. And the Rumble was one of the first segments on the pay-per-view. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, some of the guys were able to, to catch a drift and say hi. Other guys, you know, either were running around and didn't get a chance to see till I actually stepped in the ring. So it, it was, without a doubt, one of the best feelings that I've had in, in my career especially because you, you realize you've been gone for almost three years now. Man, it you know, fast, uh, huh? Yeah, it does. It does. Uh, you, you get it on social media constantly every time I post something. You know, Ray, when are you coming back to WWE? Mm -hmm. you know, and so you hear it constantly, constantly, but you never really know what the reaction is going to be until you're mm -hmm. actually there. Yeah. And I was witness that uh, there was an incredible reaction by the fans. They haven't forgotten about me. Uh, I definitely wanted to, uh, for the fans to see something different, something retro, and at the same time, uh, you know, tried to, to take care of my nutrition. I've uh, mm -hmm. been working out, uh, which at the end of the day, it helps me out with, as I get older, um, you know, not putting a lot of stress on my knees and, and just uh, overall feeling good. You know, and I think, uh, you know, when, when that call came in and I eventually showed up and I walked out, man, it, it was uh, definitely breathtaking uh, to just hear the ovation. Uh, my adrenaline d didn't stop till probably I, I got back to my hotel room. Which yeah. was in mm. uh, in Jersey. <laughs> oh, they put your jersey <laughs> so nobody would see you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was incredible. So, That's I, funny. where do you where do you see where do you see you going? Do you see? I mean, don't spoil anything. I, I don't, oh, no. I don't want you to do that. But do you like no. what? What's next mm -hmm. for you? Uh, man, I I actually have uh, uh I I've been staying as busy as I want to be, uh, oh. without uh overexposing myself and and feeling burnt out. You know uh. So but right now it, it's it's just a matter of, of if there is an interest, which I, I, I really think there there is on both ends, as much as from WWE and myself, to eventually uh, go back and, and do some work with them. You know, I, I would I would love to uh, eventually sit down and, and see if we can come up with a game plan. You know, I don't see why why that couldn't happen. Um, so I'm 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 out up for it and, and looking forward to eventually uh, being able to sit down and, and conversate about some potential work. Uh, yeah, with the I mean, well, it's one of those ones too, where, you know, after your, your rumble appearance and we were talking about it, um, you know, it's one of those ones where don't fool yourself that every single guy in that locker room is like salivating, thinking, Oh, I, I want to be the one to work Ray Mysterio, you know, like that's the kind of, <laughs> you know, yeah. the whole fresh, well, fresh round of uh of opponents there which would be which would be pretty awesome uh yeah that's that that was the first thing that i that i took in consideration um aj being one of them uh sure. definitely on the big stage I, I would i would love to to eventually go out with aj um 
uh, Finn, Finn Balor. Mm-hmm. I would yeah. love to to be able to step in the ring with him and then go at it. You know, uh, I'm a I'm a big fan, and I say this uh, um, with all respect. I'm a big fan of Ricochet, and I know he just got signed. Mm-hmm. But when I had a chance to work him for the first time uh, in Underground, and I really didn't know his story on how myself, The Rock, and Eddie were one of his three big inspirations to be a part of this business. When I had the match with him, which was one of the most incredible matches that I've had uh, after leaving WWE, uh, he spoke straight and direct to me, man. He goes, man, you know, you, you've been one of my idols and you know, I've looked up to you since I can remember, you know, you, you are why I'm here doing this now. And now that he got signed with WWE, he is a multi-talented dude, man. He is, if not, I, I consider to be one of the best out there right now. Um, just because and we were talking about this earlier, Edge, how uh, you would try to practice the moves that you uh, saw Psychosis and I do back in AAA, and, you know, at least if you couldn't do them, you would try to base for them, yeah. you know, so uh, either you take the offense or, uh, or the defense. Uh, Ricochet is one of those guys that is good at both, and it's very hard to see that type of talent that can do all the cool flippy doodle stuff and know how to position to take the 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 offense. Yeah. So uh, again, he he, uh, he surprised me very much when I was able to work with him. And I had a chance to work with him two or three times, hmm. and every time we stepped in the ring, you know, it was always uh, magic, magic every single time. Yeah. So uh, I can't wait to see his his career move forward with with WWE because I know he has a, a big future ahead of him. Well, um, okay. And and man, Good. I I there there's a whole list of guys. I mean, the guys you just mentioned, but I would love to see you in Reigns because you you would mm. I know the kind of match that you would put together with him. You know, Rollins. Uh, oh, you, you know who I would I, really I, love yeah. to see you with is Nakamura. Because mm. uh, yes. I man yeah. <laughs> the, the those different styles and just those different personas i mean that would be some cool cool well, I mean, stuff even a, even a guy like braun Strowman, who's like you know he moves yeah. so well too for a big guy i mean that would be a yeah. pretty insane match too yeah. i would imagine but in your travels over the last few years ray and you you just you just mentioned ricochet being one who are some other guys that stood out to you uh guys or girls that stood out to you when you were on on your travels that you think would uh that are going to have some big futures um, definitely, and I know we spoke about Will Ospreay, uh, and I know he's he's with New Japan right now, but I, I definitely think that uh, they're just on another level, man. Uh, like, I, I sit back and, and watch wrestling now and, and how it's evolved, especially the high-flying style, and there's just no way, you know, in a million years that I, I could even try to uh, pull out one of the moves that they're doing now, you know, with mm. they're adding now, I mean, back then it was just one flip. Now it's two flips, three flips, you know, with, uh, <laughs> three corkscrews in the air. Uh, you know, it, it's just amazing, man. And, um, um, I'm amazed by how it's evolved and, and how it's going to keep evolving. So I can't even imagine what it's going to look like five, 10 years from now. But, uh, um, another one of the, of uh, the um, future talent that he's been working for for Mexico for quite some time is uh, Phoenix, Ray Phoenix. Mm-hmm. Uh, him and Pentagon are brothers, and both of them are incredible. Uh, obviously, Pentagon has has got more of the the heelish uh, style of wrestling, but Phoenix. When I see Phoenix, I it, for some reason there's something there that that reflects on how I was and how I grew up in the sport. He's very creative with his style, and uh, he's very unique, man, with what he does. So I think uh, there's a big future ahead of him as well. Man, I was you just got me thinking about NXT, too. Like, you and Johnny Gargano, you and Cian Almas. I mean, man, 
There's a lot of yeah. matchups out there for you, dude. <laughs> that yeah. would be be really, really fun to watch. Uh, man. Oof. I'm, 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 I'm excited to to be able to sit down and, and come up with a game plan, and hopefully that can happen. And and then, of course, I I would love to get a list and see, okay, who's first? Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, I, I think that's 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 very important with with uh, the direction of where WWE is going. You know, giving the fans what they want to see. Yeah. And you know, if the fans want to see. Um, uh, Rey Mysterio versus AJ or versus um, Rollins or you name it, you know, uh, give them what they want to see. That way they can see it and have passion, you know, and, and you know, as you know very well that when, when you have the fans uh, enjoying the match, that just gives you even more uh, energy, more stamina to, to do better. <laughs> 